majority of my fighter, the, the majority of fighters that have fought me, they've all weighed me, like almost all my career, you know. So I always say I'd rather be the part than look the part mm. because I've been in many situations where I've seen guys look in the part, but then when it's when it get to the nitty gritty, they're not the part. Well, you yeah. look the part too. Just mm. Don't get it twisted. Right. You just you look like a giant Tommy Hearns. Yeah. You know when Tommy yeah. was in his uh -huh. prime. It's just uh, it, it's what what makes sense though is that you keep that power in the twelfth round. Mm -hmm. Whereas those bigger, heavier guys, maybe because the blood's got to push through all that extra muscle and all that extra body tissue, maybe they can't keep that power the way you can because in the twelfth round. First of all, I don't know how the fuck he got up. I do not understand. I remember watching it on yeah. TV. I'm like, wow, he knocked him out in the 12th round. That is crazy. Right. That is crazy. And then, of course, you played that thing on your Instagram, which basically shows that you did knock him out. Right. Did oh, not, I, I definitely knocked him out. He definitely didn't get up in time. Right. He, he definitely didn't, you know. But and, it was his job yeah. to just get up at 10. It's not his job to know exactly when 10 seconds is. Correct, he, correct. Uh, you know, Jack Reese definitely had delays on that count. I've seen the fight like six times. And, yeah. and definitely when he got to eight, you know, eight was a very long delay. Eight! Then he said, nine! <laughs> you know, um, yeah. like I said, nine, nine out of 10 judges would have waved that off, you know, easily, especially when you've seen a guy eye roll in the yes. back of his head and he... And him hitting the canvas, and his 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 whole head meat penetrated like like it started getting tight. The muscles in his head getting tight in the back, and you know. But it's <laughs> it's so much with that. I know how he got. I didn't understand how he got up either. And you know, God is a good God. Well, he believed it. That's what he believed. He believed it. Yeah. I mean, but, look, he got up, man, and he got up, and he boxed well. Yeah, he, he did. recovered. You, you mean you came after him and you hit him with some more big shots yeah. and he kept moving, but then he started getting his legs back under him and then he yeah. started landing. There's also other things as well, too. You know, he's still a gypsy, though. Yeah. You know, you know they believe in a lot of things. Yeah. You know that, I mean? right? So, yeah, you never know. You know. <laughs> hey, it was a it's fucking a, phenomenal fight, though, man. It was epic. It was it epic. Was epic. I it was amazing I can, you know, to watch. Most definitely. I watched it by myself. Yeah. My family was gone. They went out for the day. <laughs> so I was like, this is great. Just me. Did, did you watch it on mute? No. See no. what I'm saying? The, the commentators, man, they was horrible. Yeah. They was horrible. Really? They, I, I felt they was very biased. It was a lot of things they was pointing out what Fury was doing, but not a lot of things what I was doing. Mm. It just, even when I knocked down in the ninth round, they had all this to say. But when I knocked down in the ninth round, it was so quiet. Yeah. And it wasn't even a devastating knockout. You know, I was getting hit behind the head, but they wanted to call out me hitting him behind the ear mm. but how many times I got hit behind the head never was revealed it was like even just just, just the whole you know build up to it you know he sold his story he sold his yeah. story to America and you know any comeback sport it did with emotional you know emotions you know right. people got emotionally tied to it people a lot of people could relate to his story you know certain mm -hmm. things I could relate to and then you know when, when you, you when you capture you know the world, and you capture people that that um that get emotional involved. They want you to win, right. you know, just because of the stuff. I want them to win and stuff like that. And um, um, the commentators, you know, especially Paulie, especially uh, and uh, uh, got very emotional with it. A lot of other other, other cast as well too. Just going back, listening to them. I didn't saw the fight six times. You know, mm. um, I did definitely had it. You can see a very a better uh, look on the fight. Muting the TV, you know. Well, I listen to the commentary, but you know, I do commentary myself mm. for the UFC. So mm -hmm. a lot of times, even if I'm listening, I'm not really listening that much. I'm just watching. I'm yeah. watching what's happening. It's like I'm having a conversation in a room with a bunch of people. Right. I was watching what was happening. What was interesting to me was uh, you made adjustments. You know, and it, one thing that you made a big adjustment is um, when you landed in the twelfth round, you shorten everything up. Mm. You shorten that right hand up. It wasn't a winging punch at all. It came straight down the pipe, and then that left hand behind him, and the fucking timing because he was already going down. Correct. You already hit him clean. He's going down. Then that fucking left hook, man. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, man, it was that crazy. Was what was really crazy that he got up from because you definitely. snapped him around like The Exorcist. It was nuts <laughs> when he went flying and then flatlined and, and laid back. I was like, "It's over!" I can't believe he knocked him out in the twelfth fucking round. Because all fight, I was saying, "All this guy needs is one punch." Like mm. you, you got that scary, creepy power, mm -hmm. and then boom! You could say that all day long, but if it never lands, 
it doesn't mean anything, right? Correct, correct. But then it landed. And the way it landed was like, holy shit. I told Fury, I said, you're going to have to be perfect for all 12 rounds. Yeah. I only have to be perfect for a couple of seconds. Yeah. And, That's know. one thing that I did hear the commentators say. They said that he's proven that he doesn't have to be perfect because he got hit. But I was like, e but he didn't get hit clean. He got hit one time, mm -hmm. like pretty solid behind the ear. Mm -hmm. But the big one was in the 12th. I mean, Correct. I'm so impressed with both things, with you being able to land like that and with him being able to get up. Right, that right. Was, that was probably one of the best heavyweight fights Man. I've fucking ever seen. It was a lot of pressure ever. on me that night, you know. I'm sure. Um, just the heavyweight division has, has been dead for a, for a long time. And then we started with last year or something, just started really just – progressing and, and people started to talk about it um especially been dead in america i remember yeah. a time when no one knew who was, who was the heavyweight champion of the world were you know yeah. it was the european guys and stuff like that so i always made it my business like i want to bring it back i want to do it like ali did and a lot of the other former champions did it where people knew and understand the sport of boxing and who was the champion and stuff like that i always felt i had that that duty to fulfill even when I was in the Olympics, because a lot of people don't even know I was in the Olympics. Right. You know, um, I was the only American to medal in the 2008 Olympics as well. And just from that point, I just feel like I had to be the one to bring it back. 